But first, Palestinians in the occupied West Bank are burying a man who died in an Israeli jail. Israel says Arafat Jaradat died of a heart attack. But the Palestinian Authority says the autopsy report showed that he was tortured. His death has sparked days of violent protests as well as hunger strikes in prisons. And you're looking at the live pictures now uh, from Hebron where Nicole Johnston is joining us from. And Nicole is in Jaradat's uh, hometown, Seir, and that's in Hebron district in the occupied uh, West Bank, Nicole. So we can see hundreds of people out. Uh, what's happening? The crowd has really swelled over the last hour. There's probably a couple of thousand people on the streets. The body of Arafat Jaradat has been brought through the streets. It's now in a building being viewed by the family. From there, it was expected that it would go to the mosque and then it will be buried. But a huge turnout here. People have come out to show their support and their solidarity for the family, as well as to protest and demonstrate against his death inside an Israeli jail. They are outraged. That he, were, that he died inside the jail. They heard the Palestinian Authority say last night that they believe it was for, that he died from torture. And this has come as no surprise to the people of the village here. They never believe the official Israeli version of events that came from the prison authority that he had died of a heart attack. Uh, Nicole, where could all of this uh, lead to? And uh, Israel presumably watching all of this uh, closely, concerned that it may gain even more momentum. That's right. There's a, a great deal of concern across Israel and the Palestinian territories that this death and the last few weeks of protests and demonstrations about the issue of Palestinian political prisoners inside Israeli jails could lead to further uprisings and more demonstrations and clashes between Palestinian protesters and the Israeli army. At this stage, it's, it's difficult to know whether the situation will start to calm down in a few days or whether these protests will intensify. There has been a number of demonstrations in areas in, in the Hebron district, outside of Hebron city, clashes between the Israeli army and demonstrators. So uh, the Israeli government has tried to tell the Palestinian Authority to calm the situation down, to get things under control. But that puts the PA into a difficult position as well. They don't want to be seen as collaborating with the Israelis when the mood on the street is very angry and very upset. All right, Nicole, thank you very much. That's Nicole Johnston reporting from the occupied West Bank, where, as you can see, Palestinians are burying a man, Arafat Jaradat, who died in an Israeli jail.